that the whole system that the Conservatives have set up is designed to exclude refugees from coming to the country. Then they're, they're bringing in legislation to say that if you've passed through a safe country, you have to go back to that country. Everything they do seems designed for us not to take refugees. And yet, as you said, 120,000 people have said, yes, we want to open our homes to refugees. So I think maybe there's a bit of a change and the Conservatives need to actually start listening to what we're saying is that we are happy to have refugees in our homes and not just from Ukraine, but from other countries. And in Kettering, we've got a Kettering refugee assistance group. We've been trying to work with the Home Office for months and months to sponsor a family to come to Kettering. And we haven't been able to get through the bureaucracy. So I think it is, as you, Richard, said, you know, all these things are set up. Uh, the form fill in, it's gone down from 49 pages to 30 pages. It's just ridiculous. And, and it is children. Over 50% of the refugees coming from Ukraine are going to be children. So why do, they need, why do we need all these um, checks before they get here? Okay. Yep. They can, can I, come can I tell here, you why? as that lady said, they can come here and have the checks okay, here. Let's, let's I'm sorry, that's answer. not in line with the security advice that we have. It's really important that we do carry out these checks before they get here, because if they don't pass the standards, then it's very hard to remove people who are here illegally. What's important, and I think this is really focuses mine, and it's something that I never hope happens, but we need to prepare for risks, and that's why we need to be prudent in our approach to migration and refugee uh, policy. God forbid, someone we, we we drop the checks because there's political pressure and because ambitious mps are making political footballs out of this issue and someone gets through illegally and then they carry out an attack on british soil something which is devastating everybody here would be rightly outraged that we dropped checks and we allowed someone to slip through the net i'm not willing to take that chance on british people's security it's right that we have checks it's right that we offer a warm welcome to refugees but we need to do it right well, you didn't, okay. you didn't worry about security advice when Boris Johnson put Lord Lebedev of Siberia in the House of Lords, did you? Right, OK. Um, what evidence have you got for that, Wes? If you're going to make an accusation like that, please back it up with cogent evidence. Well, I think we need a straight answer from Boris Johnson about the advice he was given. We know Dominic Cummings says he was given security advice. We know that Boris Johnson didn't like the advice and put him in the House of Lords anyway. Can you, you're, you're a senior law officer. Uh, and you know that what you say has to count because of the oath that you took. Can you tell us categorically that Boris Johnson wasn't given security advice about Lord Lebedev? Well, I think it's You're really the Attorney important. General. Tell us, it's give us really a straight answer. important that before you start casting aspersions, no, on I people, just asked a question. You have a cogent evidential okay. basis for it. I don't think it's very easy to get carried away, given the heightened uh, conflicts and, and tensions at the moment, to throw accusations around about people who are innocent, who are pe who are law-abiding Russian citizens, just because we have a fight with Putin doesn't mean that everybody of Russian heritage is a spy. I agree. And I think I you, should, make, you should know advice? better, Wes, than to throw advice? around reckless accusations about, people, what I've said. about people's reputation what without said. any evidence. You haven't refuted what I said, though, I, 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 I'm Br very Britain's, happy. Okay. Britain's relationship, right, and okay. explicitly the Conservative Party's relationship with Russian oligarchs is a badge of shame in this country. Here, here. Okay. I've just, just got to rebut that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Max, but we've just we've just introduced unprecedented sanctions against a, a very high number of oligarchs, totaling billions of pounds, um, squeezing them financially, excluding them from accessing their assets, freezing their bank accounts. Um, that's not a party but that's slow in the hot it, but to slow enough, oligarchs. slow enough that Roman Abramovich could fly his planes out the country and get his yachts out of the way. Okay. That was really handy, wasn't no, it? No, no, no. Yeah. All right.